Now for this next part, we're told that when P is at a point B on the curve here, that the direction of motion of P is at 45 degrees below the horizontal. And we've got to find the time taken for P to move from A to this point B, wherever it may be. Well, the best place that B would be would be this point here at time T, because if I just mark that in as B, can you see that if we just have a dotted line there, and say a dotted line down there, that this angle here we can take as being 45 degrees below the horizontal. We'll just mark it in as 45 degrees. That would make this angle in here also 45 degrees. Now what do we know about the components of V at this point, B? Well we know that this component is going to be 3 meters per second because we worked out the velocity vector from the previous part of the question. We also know that it's moving with a velocity in this direction given by 5 minus 9.8 t. So I mark that in as 5 then minus 9.8 t. And that will be measured also in meters per second. Now if we drew a velocity triangle for this particle at B, it'll look something like this. We'd have the 3 meters per second going across to the right there, and we'll have the velocity downwards as being 5 minus 9.8 t, and that would be also in meters per second. So the resultant velocity would be V and it would act like that at an angle 45 degrees then below the horizontal. Now we know that that angle has to be 45 degrees as well because it is a right angle triangle. Now this right angle triangle, because we've got these two angles the same, must be an isosceles triangle. These two lengths must be exactly the same. So we can equate this length with this length. But we've got to be very careful here because we know that this is going downwards. So if I was to work out this value, it would be a negative value. And we know that the length has to be positive. So that means that we need to negate this. The length will be 9.8t minus 5. So when it comes to considering the lengths, we know that 9.8t minus 5, this length, must equal this length here, 3. So all we need to do now to work out t is just rearrange this equation. So if we were to add 5 to both sides, it would give us 3 and 5 is 8, and divide by 9.8, you'll have t equals then 8 divided by 9.8. And you could work this out as an exact fraction. It would come out as 40 over 49. And that would be measured in seconds. So as an exact value, 40 over 49 seconds. Or you could work it out as a decimal, but if you do, you get a hobble long decimal, 0 0.8163 and so on, which you'll have to approximate, say, to two decimal places, and that'll be 0 0.82 seconds to two decimal places. So it's up to you which one you want to take. All right? But I hope that's given you some idea then how you go about that part of the question. But you've got to take care about this particular value. Okay?